Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Greetings to you all. Pastor John here, coming to you with my regular from the pastor's desk. Peace be with you. On Good Friday morning when I got up, I felt like it was a very different sort of a day to the normal Good Friday that I'd been used to. I got up and I went outside for a look out in the yard and I came across Michael, Reverend Michael Boyle walking down the footpath. Reverend Michael Boyle is the retired Anglican uh, minister in town. I greeted him and our initial comment was, we said the same thing. We said, it's a very strange Good Friday. And then we paused and paused and we didn't really know what to say next. We were stuck for words. We do get stuck for words sometimes. Even people who have a lot to say on every topic sometimes get stuck for words. What can you say when we know that our Saviour, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, suffered and died for our sins? Jesus died on the cross because of what we did. We are the ones who have alienated ourselves from God. We are the ones who put ourselves, buried ourselves away from God's love and God's grace. It all began at that moment in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve decided of their own free will to go against God and make their own choice. I'd like to read to you from Psalm 103 verse 12. I'm reading from the contemporary English version. How far has the Lord taken our sins from us? Further than the distance from the east to the west. Further from the distance from the east to the west. How far does God's love reach? Further than the distance from east to west. Just look at the cross and you can see the enormity of God's love. So how was Monday Thursday and Good Friday for you? How did you celebrate it? What did you do at home? Now, I know we can't gather together physically, but in spirit. And tomorrow we rejoice in the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, his victory over sin, death and the devil. And even though we're physically separated, we gather together in word and in prayer. And we thank God for his greatest of gifts to each one of us. New life in Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that God's deepest Easter peace and joy will be with you and with me as we reflect together and rejoice in God's love and grace to us in the risen Christ. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed.